Geiger will move it forward. Near side of Joey Leach. Got it back through center. Marganeri left it for Joe Devin. Right wing, back to Marganeri. He scores! Perfect pass in front. Marganeri redirects it. And South Carolina takes a 1-0 lead on the Jacksonville Icemen with 11.51 to go in the first. Dylan Marganeri deflects it home, his 12th of the season. Yeah, great job there by the Stingrays, kind of being unselfish and, and a little bit of a give and go there. And Dylan Marganeri, I wondered how he was going to play on this line with, with Joe Devin, but uh, that answers your question right there. Yeah, they've had a lot of chemistry this year, Devin, Camerata, and Marganeri. And right now Number with one in the ECHL on the penalty kill at 91.6%. The Icemen are last on the power play, just 9% on the man advantage. So you got number one against number 27 here, and the Rays have done a good job. At the start, they get a clear, and now Dylan Marganeri in a short-handed chance, puts it in front, and Joe Devin finishes it off. Short-handed goal for South Carolina. They lead 2-0. The captain scores his 14th of the season on a hard-working play by Dylan Marganeri. Won the battle to the puck. Moved it in front to Devin, and the Rays lead two to nothing with 10.38 to go in the first. Yeah, and this is a case where the Stingrays four players outworked the five players from Jacksonville. Beautiful passing again. Iceman now on the power play. They shoot it in deep. Joey Leach trying to clear, is blocked. Geiger on the backhand finds Gustafson, rolls it up and out of the zone. And here's Nick Roberto, who hops into a breakaway. Roberto holds, and this time, the backhand works. He scores. The second short-handed goal for South Carolina tonight. Nick Roberto tried that move last week. It didn't work. This time, he finds the back of the net for his third goal of the season. And South Carolina improves their lead to 3-0. Great backhand shot up high in the top shelf. And Finney really had nothing, no chance there. It seems like when I'm showing up, Nick Roberto's finally scoring. So uh, good to see him get back on the score sheet and and a good hustle move there, picking up the puck and using his speed, getting out in front of the uh, D and had all day to kind of go. Where the Iceman was just added to the roster yesterday. Just finished playing at the University of Regina up in Canada. First pro game. Valley looks pretty good here. He's another shot, stopped in front. Miller still loose in front of him. And now they score. The Iceman have gotten on the board. Tanner Eberle finds the back of the net with 6.23 to go. In the second period, a power play goal for Jacksonville. The Stingrays, a long, long streak where they hadn't been scored on on the penalty kill has come to an end. Just three seconds were left on the penalty to Perry, and a good work in front by Eberly. Milner had a few saves there, but he couldn't find the rebound to cover. He just kept being loose in front of him and eventually poked in by Eberly. Hey, good, yeah, good hands there by Eberly in traffic, too, at, at Joe. At center. McGauley will leave it for Patrick Gall. Here come the Rays, three on two. Gall stops right circle, try to shot. Nice save by Finney with the pad. Now Perrier is shot, save, Finney. Rebound loose, Gall looking at option, threw it in front, it's in! Timmy McGauley got a deflection. The Rays stick with it, and now they lead four to one with 9.39 to go here in the third period, and maybe it hit off a Jacksonville stick. It's Patrick Gall, first man of the handshake line. He threw it in front. Magali had a stick in there, but it ended up in the back of the net. That's all they're looking for. Yeah, yeah. looked like it went in off uh, off Jacksonville's 37. Well, well, they don't have a 37. Oh, 37. Okay, it, it, there's a seven there somewhere. <laughs> maybe it was Shapiro at 73. Maybe 73. Okay, but either way, went off. Jacksonville, nice job by Camerata getting back defensively. I don't know where the Rays defense was there, but Camerata was the last line back. Perrier and Walsh both caught in neutral ice. And the Rays couldn't get it out of their own end. Joseph now for a man in front and a score. Nice move in front of the net by Eli Lichtenwald. And Jacksonville right back in it within four to two. 8-10 to go in the third. The Rays could not get the puck out of their own zone. And now Lichtenwald, the power move in front, beats Parker Milner, and it's four to two. That's a nice move there, a really good power forward move. You're absolutely right there. Kind of remind me of the goal that... Uh... And it was turned over to Collier. Collier now on the near wall, trying to bring it in the zone. He gets it in deep. Milner out of the net to play it, and tied up with Garrett Hunt. Sent all the way down for an icing, but Magali is going to not only beat the icing, he's going to score. Empty net goal for Tim Magali. 
and South Carolina will have a win tonight over Jacksonville. They lead five to two with 53 seconds to go. Well, if McCauley didn't get that goal earlier in the period, he got one there. So good hustle by him getting behind the Jacksonville defense and just uh, using his feet to get to that open puck. A stop by Finney. Rebound played in deep by Sal Haney. Far side to Leach with 10 seconds to go. Bindelis near side. Blarzy on cross ice pass for Roberto. Final couple seconds. Bindelis over the Blarzy on centering pass goes wide of the net. And that is it. South Carolina wins it tonight. A final score of 5 to 2 over Jacksonville.